Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to show Obsidian on the new Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. I recently picked up this device and basically I wanted to kind of have an Android tablet similar to, you know, I have a couple different devices, an iPhone and also a Note. So just to, you know, get a little bit of diversity in the different operating systems and how I use use these apps and then test the different apps on these different platforms. So I want to try Obsidian on an Android tablet just to see what the kind of what the user experience would be. Now I've been using Obsidian on the phone and the you know the actual application on the phone is somewhat small, a little bit cramped. Uh, they do have basically the desktop um, version of you know Obsidian it pretty much looks the same as, uh, on mobile as it does on the desktop except they've been able to touch on the mobile devices so you can swipe on the mobile devices but you're limited in, in the real estate of the screen of what you can actually see so if you're using anything like the the different uh, side pan panels then those once you swipe over are the only things you will see and also um, you, you're not allowed to stack the different uh, plugins within one panel you can only view one thing at a time so but on the Galaxy Tab it does change the experience because you do have a bit more real estate it is a lot wider then on an iPad as well so you still get a little bit more room there compared to the iPad but let's go ahead and walk through and I can show you some of the, the you know the pros and maybe cons of Obsidian on the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus okay so we're sitting here on the you know the main screen there's nothing open if I want to swipe over I can get the file tree here this is using the one of the plugins and if I go ahead and let's open up the daily note um, I haven't put anything in there it fills it with my template everything looks fine similar to what you get on the desktop I can swipe over I can see the calendar and then I can change to any of the other um, basically the the plugins or that I want within this side panel now one convenient thing with um, the tablet over the phone is that you do have this extra space so I can come up here and I can pin this side panel and I still have plenty of room to to do note taking with this uh, with the note panel open I can also swipe to the you know the other side and pin the other panel and even though I have every panel open that I can um, on the mobile device I still have plenty of room to actually type here this is um, it's, it's not cramped like it is on the phone or even on, on the smaller iPad that I have so plenty of room here to go ahead and do what I need to do um, on this particular device uh, one thing on the mobile device is that there, there is no X to close out your notes um, I have no idea why that hasn't been included yet <laughs> up to this point uh, because right now you have to either if you have the pain pin like this here it's not too hard but you have to you know hit the three dots and then hit close right you can hit the three dots here right which is what you would typically do if you did it on the phone what this would do is open up the side panel similar to what you just saw which is not efficient in my mind if you just want to close the the actual file or you want that menu to pop up you have to actually hold it for a little bit and then the menu pops up so it is doable but it takes a bit of bit more time I think to be able to just close so I've set it up on the mobile device you can change the actions here to um, sw if I swipe down it will actually close uh, the file that's open in this pane so that makes it a bit more efficient if I'm going to close that and maybe open up another note 
then it's a lot easier for me to close things. Another advantage to having the, the actual tablet set up here is that you do get pen support and with the Galaxy Tab, the pen actually comes with the tablet. It's not an extra thing that you have to purchase. So one of the key plugins that you can use this with is Excaladraw. So if you have not used Excaladraw, this is basically like an infinite canvas um, that you can use as either a writing tablet or you know some kind of whiteboard where you can just come in here you can drop in your shapes you know so it, it works just like it does on the desktop it actually I don't know it feels a lot more fluid uh, doing it here on this tablet than it does on the desktop so uh, but you know your experience may vary depending on what you do with this here now it's not that you can just uh, come in here and create shapes but it does also support the the pen so if I click on that little pen icon at the top there one thing to note is that you get your hand finger support where you can actually draw things with your finger but as soon as you start using the the pen on this tablet it recognizes that you are using a pen device so and then it puts this pen and it has a lock there and that means that you cannot use your finger to actually do any kind of drawing on the screen now one thing to note is that you can also so I you see I have it here in this cramp session where I pin these sidebars I can go ahead and unpin those to get more canvas to work with and I can also come in here and hit this little lock symbol which helps aid any kind of um, miss you know and interpretations around the the palm resting on your deal so you can kind of see how it moves a little bit as soon as you rest your palm there without that lock on there it's actually more pronounced you can see how it just jumped and blew up on me so so you will want to put that lock on there and then it will give you a little bit more consistent type of uh, a writing experience when you're using the pen so I can come in here and I can put it on the pen there again. I can type or write hello. And it really is fluid. You know, you can see this is pretty fast. So I do like the writing experience using Excaladraw within Obsidian uh, with the pen. So um, yeah, it, it, it works really well no different than it does on the desktop from a functionality standpoint except you get the added bonus of using a stylus now other than that everything else is pretty much the same from a you know how obsidian works so i'll sit there close that one again we can open up these different panes however you want there and you can go into the settings change all of your settings however you want um, it's pretty customizable you still get the map view this is kind of what that looks like um, within on the tablet here and of course you can pinch and zoom and yeah there are some plugins that do not work in general on the mobile device but you can you can typically find those that will pop up an error message when you're trying to load it or when you open up Obsidian and it tries to load and most of them will just disable themselves in the background so they will not work you do get mouse support you know I kind of showed the trackpad this is me using my MX mouse over here and yeah everything just works as it as you expect it would on the desktop uh, but using you know a mouse so nothing exciting extra exciting here but you can use obsidian on your tablet is if you're using it on the desktop without the only thing you do not get of course is the side panels you cannot stack the the different plugins on top of each other like you can on the desktop and then some of the plugins don't actually work on the mobile device so overall I'm satisfied with the experience of Obsidian on the mobile device and another added bonus of having an Android device with Obsidian is that if you're an insider you can get the, 
the updated APKs and you can download those as soon as they're available. Where on the iOS device, the they don't actually release the the updates as often. They I think they're only limited to right now the public release um, versions on the iOS device. So I haven't seen a way to get the any of the insider builds for iOS, uh, where it's a lot easier to get the insider builds of Obsidian uh, for Android because they just list the the APKs within the Discord and you can download them, install and update uh, your version that you have right away. Okay, if you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time, have a nice day.